Hi kids! Today we are going to learn how to draw and then paint with watercolors. But first, I'm going to show you, show you how to uh, draw this chameleon by looking for shapes. And we're going to do it in two steps. The first step is we're going to... This is upside down. Let's flip it around. There we go. Guys, I put this picture inside a plastic bag, so I did not have to draw right on top of the picture. Um, take a look at our picture of this chameleon. Let's just look at the body, okay? Everybody should, if you have a picture of this, that would be great. Let's just look at the body, and we're just going to trace the body. It goes here and here. Everybody just trace the body right now. What shape is that? Okay. Some of you may have said an oval. Some of you may have said a half circle. Um, some of you may have said a taco. So, guys, I think it really looks to me like a taco. So, I am going to draw a line here underneath, okay, and then I'm going to draw like a taco shape on top of my bag. That is about the shape of our chameleon's body, okay. We always go from basic to details, so we have to ignore all the details, ignore all the bumps and scales and colors, and just look at the shapes. Let's look at the head. What shape is the head? Yeah, most kids will say a triangle. So we're going to trace over this with just a triangle shape, okay? And if you notice, that triangle shape is tilted back a little bit on the taco shape. What about the tail? Okay, some kids say on the tail that this looks like a circle right here, okay? So I'm just going to kind of dot that in right now. Yep, that's a circle, and look at that circle is touching the foot. Do you see that? Yeah. Other people say it's like a, sna a snail. So we're going to make this into two shapes. We're going to make this into a circle shape, okay? And then we are just going to connect these two like that, okay? This line, then, we will draw. That's a detail. We'll draw that later, okay? The last thing, the last big thing on our chameleon is what? The arms and the legs. And those are probably the most complicated. But we're going to break it into three shapes. The upper arm, the lower arm, and the hand. Just like we have. We have an upper arm, a lower arm, and a hand. Make sure when we're going to start with this arm right here because you can see it the best. Okay. So I want everybody to trace right here. What shape is that? Yep, just a rectangle. Okay, now the next one, we're gonna draw. We're gonna um, draw another shape right here, and it's another rectangle. And then, what about this hand? What shape do you think this hand is? Okay, some kids have said triangle. Some kids th say oval. Other kids kind of say it like a taco shape. I think it's just kind of like a hook taco shape, like almost like a banana right there. And if you look, this is coming out from the base right underneath the neck is where it starts, right here where it's attached. Comes down, almost touches the bottom edge of this shape, and then goes forward. You always have to look at where everything is touching. It touches the base of this or is very close to the base of the head. Let's go ahead and do the back leg. We're going to do it the same way. Starting on this tail area right here. Okay, we are going to make a rectangle. And then we're going to trace another rectangle right here. And then we're going to do a half circle for the little foot. So with our chameleon guys, we have all the basic shapes. And those are the shapes we are going to start to draw. But we have to draw very, very lightly. 
So here we go. Here is the paper. Here is our chameleon that does not have any shapes on it. And this is where we're going to draw. Have them side by side like this. And you always keep looking back and forth at your drawing and what you're or at your photograph and what you're drawing. You know what? I'm going to flip them like this because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you probably want to do it the other way. Okay, but if you're right-handed, you really want your picture over here so you can see it the whole time. Okay, what shape was the body again? Yep, the body was a taco. So everybody, we're going to draw the biggest shape first. Real lightly, we're going to draw a taco. Nice and big. We want to draw that very, very big. Okay. And I'm going to make mine just a little darker so that you can see it because it doesn't show up on camera very well. But there it is. And notice I have it angled at the same angle. This bottom line should be at the same angle as this. And then up and over. Okay. And then the head. The head doesn't start down here. The head is up a little bit. So guys, we're going to make that triangle. We're going to just draw a line right here. Okay, and then we're going to draw a triangle out. Okay, the next big thing on this picture is the tail. Okay, now um, with the tail, we have a circle down here. Now, guys, if you look, the taco shape comes to here, okay, right about here. And that circle comes under the taco shape. So I'm going to make that circle right here. Do the best you can to make that circle. Notice I'm going around several times, going very lightly. And then we're going to connect it up to the back. Triangle, taco shape, or half circle, circle. Basic, basic shapes. What's next? You got it. The next thing would be the um, arm. Now, guys, the arm actually starts way up. It's almost connected right underneath the head. And we're just going to draw the first section. Almost touches, if you look, almost if I look at that shape, try to imagine it almost comes to the base of my taco, this part right here. Okay, this one's going to be hard to do, but if this is the angle of the top of the arm, this is the angle of the bottom one. It comes this way and it goes forward. It almost goes, it goes in this direction. So we're going to draw that one here. And then does anybody remember the shape of the hand? Yep, we kind of did it in a kind of a banana shape. There we go. Looks weird, but hey, that's how we start by drawing from a picture. Going to the back. Okay, we're going to do two rectangles again. This one comes this way. This one goes straight down. Touches. It's touching the circle. In fact, it overlaps it a little bit. And then a little nub at the base. That's how we begin our chameleon. Everything should be really light. I should be able to erase this and not see anything. Okay. Now we're going to start adding some details. Okay. So... This is a pretty good shape right here, except it comes up. Instead of the taco going down this way, it actually tucks under the head a little bit here. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to, because if you look here, this just comes up just a little bit. So I'm going to just take my pencil and start drawing this back line all the way over to here. And it's going to touch the foot. Okay, 
while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and make that swirl. So guys, that swirl comes around and around and around. So it comes this way, round and around and around. And if you need to, I think I need to fix mine a little bit. I'm adjusting it. And then I'm going to get rid of this circle line because I don't need that circle line anymore. And I'm going to adjust this because I think this is a little fat right here. There we go. No, it's not perfect. It doesn't look exactly like it. When I look at it from far away, I could even, if I wanted to make it even more like it, I'd probably bring it down and make that a little thicker and make it look exactly like it. Oh yeah, that looks way better. And then this goes way in like that. And guys, don't look at me drawing. You can look at me to start. Always look back. You're like a copy machine going back and forth between your picture and that your photograph that you're doing and your actual picture that you're drawing. All right. We're going to do the legs last. Those are the most complicated. Let's go up to this head. Okay. This head. First of all, these, let's go, how, how should we tackle this? Okay. The first of all, the head does come to the, um, the leg. It actually is tucked under right here. Okay, and then this scoops up a little bit. This is rounded here. Right here it comes up. The mouth comes almost all the way back. Okay, I'm, and then the snout comes out like this. I'm going to have, let you guys catch up. And then so it, it's rounded a little bit. It's not that straight. So it's rounded a little bit. And this comes down here. And then the original line I'm going to erase. Now guys, I'm trying, this shouldn't be completely a guided um, drawing. You should be looking at the picture as we go. And you know what, when I'm looking at this, this um, mouth looks like it should be this way a little bit more on mine. So I'm going to angle mine a little bit more. Looks like I've got the point in the wrong way. Just doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to bring this up and sometimes you have to adjust. It's still a triangle shape, but I think it needs to be adjusted a little bit. And then this little nose part comes out a little bit. We'll do the top line in a second. We're not done with this top line or this line. We just did this line. And actually, I think, I think his little mouth needs to be angled down too. See, I'm adjusting. Looking at this, looking at this, looking at this, looking at this, going back and forth, back and forth. Be an art copy machine. Draw what you see. Okay, this eye is almost touching this, his, uh, or her mouth line. It's that big, you guys. Just draw the purple part. And then this part comes up a little bit. You can see it. Whoops. Okay, comes back down. And then it comes and bows out. And then this kind of. Um, rounds right there. Try that. Now when I look at it again for on mine, it's a little too long. So I'm going to shorten it up. And actually on this can be, okay, I'm going to let you guys finish that. It's getting there. And then if there's any other lines you don't want from the first drawing, you erase those. Okay. 
This line I can see now is in the wrong spot. This line needs to be up a little bit. And then see how it tucks right under at the top? And then I'm going to erase this. You erase all those extra lines from when I was doing the basic shapes. Your line should just erase, guys. Any other lines you don't want, get rid of them. Those were guidelines to begin with. Oh, this line back here. Yep. There we go. Not too shabby. Okay, we are going to do the legs. We imagine this as a rectangle, but if you look at it more closely, it actually scoops up here, rounds right here comes forward a little bit, then around. This is skinnier. The knee just juts out just a little bit and around. Now guys, I don't want you to follow me. I want you to draw what you see. And then I'm erasing all the extra lines. Gosh, that was easy because it, um, once you get those first shapes done, the second shape, when you're getting the actual shape, it's so much easier doing those initial shapes because the size is already done for you. Now you just got to get the shape. There we go. Okay. On the arm, what is closer to you? The shoulder part? or the arm part. The arm part is closer to you and you can see the whole arm bottom part of the arm right here. So that's what we're going to draw first. So uh, let's draw this elbow. This elbow comes out like this and then it scoops under before it goes to that hand. It scoops. We drew it as a rectangle. We could have drawn it as a long skinny oval just giving us the idea. Then there's a kind of a fold line right here. And guys, remember, you are not following me. You are following what you're seeing on here. Okay. And then, whoops, my pencil just, then it goes up. And you know what? Now I know that the angle on this, there we go. I should have made the angle a little bit more down. I'm drawing this shape right here exactly the way I see it. Now that I have that rectangle set up, I know about where it's supposed to go. And then the top part is easy. It goes here, here, and then it rounds. You can see the lines, and then get we get rid of all the other lines. Get rid of the extra rectangle lines. And then down here, you guys, Okay, this kind of scoops a little bit. You know, when I'm looking at it now, I might have made mine a little bit too long or skinny. Oh, no, this comes down to here, actually, when I'm looking at this. It scoops down and comes to about here. There we go. That looks better. So you're always looking to see locations. Are the locations is what's on here in the same spot as this. Now I'm going to draw the stick in last. Isn't that funny? A lot of kids will draw the stick in first. Let's draw the stick. Okay, the stick does not show right here. It shows right here. And it shows right here. And then there's another little paw sticking out right here. And then it comes back this way. And I keep looking and looking, and then I'm going to take this line and go straight through and then draw it down here at this other end. Guys, this is tough drawing. This is not easy. There we go. Now if I wanted to, I can just do my little tufts of green 
lichen or moss on it. Get rid of all the other lines that I drew. And I'm going to just start with a dot in the middle here. That is the basic drawing of our chameleon. And now we need to do the details. Okay. Details. Details. Well, something that shows up right away for me is this white stripe right down the middle. Okay. And same with the mouth. We've got some bumps up here. And then it's white around the mouth. I am not going to draw all those tiny little um, circles everywhere. If we had more time and you wanted to, you could. But there's a tiny zigzag line that goes along the back and all the way around. It's kind of bumpy. Looks like a foot is showing through right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then up here, this part is a whole bunch of different colors, and then the snout part is a bunch of different colors. This is pretty much red, but it has some shadows in here, which I can do with color. I'm just trying to separate out all these sections. Okay, and then the stripes. And these aren't perfect stripes on this little guy. I'm just drawing what I see, guys. You draw what you see. When you see a, a certain color, it's very hard because, you know, it can be there and you can see it, but then other people won't be able to see what you are drawing. So I'm not going to, I mean, this is just super complicated. So do the best you can. I'm just drawing these lines as I see them. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to stop right there because I really need to take more time on this. And it's already 22 minutes and I'm still not finished with my drawing. And guys, that's how you draw from a picture.